What up, YouTube? We are back at it again. Um, we are looking at... All right. So, I've got this sent to me and requested a ton of times. I'm not ignoring it. Um, by the way, leaving leaving it in my comments is a tough way for... I, I can't... I can't... That's not... I do read all the comments, but I don't... I'm not looking for, like, requests there. Most of my requests came from Patreon. Just a heads up. Um, not trying to be mean about it. Um, it's just there's, there's a lot of comments. Um, so, I, I try to respond the best that I can. Anyways, we're looking at... A uh, little mix. Um, I don't know anything about him. Haven't heard a thing about him. Um, I did a little reading just now. I guess this group was formed in um, it's in the the Britain's version of the X Factor show, right? Where apparently, like they each back in like 2011, I think it was. Uh, they each uh, did audition like solo, and and then they they went in they and like didn't do well, didn't got in, but didn't get past one of the first couple rounds or something. Got put into groups um, to try again. The groups didn't get past their rounds or whatever. Um, I'm being loose with this. You guys are going to correct me. I know it. But um, and feel free. Let me learn something. Um, and then uh, and then those groups, I guess two girls from each of those groups were paired together. And I guess it was later found out. It's said by the judges, but it was later found out that it was primarily Kelly Rowland's idea um, to, to get that done. I I could be wrong, so again, correct me if I am. Um, we're looking at Secret Love Song, so I'm assuming this isn't like some Doris Day, Calamity Jane stuff, right? This is a this is an original because I think this was co-written with Jason Derulo. Like they wrote it, sent it to him, he liked it, and then he wrote his own verse. Um, as I understand, there's a version of this without him. You guys might tell me to check that out as well. I will. I'll get there. Uh, I just I'm going on a list, and I've I've been told to do a bunch of things, so. Bear with me. If you guys keep telling me to do stuff, I'll do stuff. Do me a favor. Run over to Little, Little Mix's page. Please go like and subscribe. Want to support the artist first and foremost. That's what we're here for. If you like what I do, please like, comment down below, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Appreciate it very much. It does help the channel. Uh, love to have you. Love the support. Let's um, let's see what Little Mix is all about. Oh, um, and I did hear one more thing. I heard that this song's been like used, or these girls, right, like have, have a lot of music that, that sort of falls in use of or in vain of um, – well, this one, the um, like for for gay pride and whatnot, and they this has been sort of gifted to to that community to to be used and whatnot. And when performed, there's even you know pride flags, and that's that's wonderful. Also, they do you know stuff with women's rights and feminism, and they they have causes that they represent, which is which is which is really great too. So let's dive in. Before we start here, I know nothing about copyright, so if this if this gets bounced, uh, there's nothing on this right now, filter wise. If it gets bounced, then uh, I'm sorry, that's not a me thing. I have to, it's a YouTube thing, so I have to put some stuff over it. But let me rewind that because she was about to breathe. When you hold me in the street and you kiss me on the dance floor, I wish that it could be like that. Why can't it be like that? Cause I'm yours We keep behind closed doors Every time I see you I die a little more Stolen moments that we steal As the curtain falls It'll never be enough It's obvious Second, every thought I'm in so deep, but I'll never show it. Can't hold me in the street. I can't kiss you on the dance floor. I wish 
can I hold you in the street? Why can I kiss you on the dance floor? I wish that we could be like that. Why can't we be like that? Cause I'm yours. I'm yours. Oh, why can't you? shot um it's really good it's really good uh i wish i knew their names because and, and i'll learn their names if you guys follow my channel a little i'm, I'm good with names this is the first time i've ever seen them so uh i will i will get there let me uh um okay yeah so we got um jesse and as I understand, she she's no longer with the group. I think I read. So are they just are they are they just uh, uh, three of them now, or did they did they add one more? Just a question. Um, you guys, let me know. Um, yeah, they all have. It's really it's it's interesting because um, they have they have voices that are that are similar, kind of in in aside from um, Leanne, um, she's got this. She's got this growl in in her. Uh, she just, she's got this beautiful bo voice that she kind of like, she she rubs it through the dirt a little bit, um, and it's in a, in a good way, in a good way. She's got that that kind of growl that in in her voices, but otherwise, like, as as far as like their their tonality and their their kind of range capacity, all very very good, diverse, but um, but but similar in a sense, but very very different. Um, who is that that just finished there and started Jade? Um, she's got this like soft, angelic kind of airy roundness to her tone. Really, really nice. Um, I want to hear the version. I want to hear it stripped down a little bit, um, with less production on it. I, I want to hear it either live or, um, maybe even no, I love JD. I love JD, but I know exactly what JD's capable of. Maybe even without JD. Um, cause you, you add the, the auto tuning components, which she does a lot of, and there's a time and place for that. And that's fine. Um, but I want to, I'm not, I, I guess I'm, I was, yeah, I mean, I, I'm trying to focus on, on what they're doing. Cause I know exactly what, I know exactly what he's doing and he's really, really good at it. Um, parts of his dancing even looked like almost like AI generated and cartoonish, but, um, no, that was, that was beautiful. I can see why that's, that's used as an anthem, uh, in a sense. Um, just the lyrics it's, it's about somewhat of a taboo or kind of forbidden, secretive you know love yet it's still like um unconditional unrequited and and forgiving in a sense that um and that's i mean lyrically that's kind of what it's you know it's, it's the name of the song right it's a secret love song so it's it's about i you know i wish that i could do this with you and why can't i do this with you and and speaking more to like um open um it displays of affection in places of um of the public in the streets you know, and, and whatever that they, that they're referencing. So I can see why that's been adopted in, you know, in the, um, LGBT in the, you know, in the gay community and whatnot, or it, I mean, it, it could apply to anything really. Um, if you're dating somebody and her parents don't like you, if you're dating somebody of a different culture or, or race, um, I mean, you could, you could take those lyrics and apply it to anything, but I do, I do see the, the application there. Um, yeah, they sound beautiful. I'm, I'm interested to check out more of their stuff. Um, they've, I'm, I'm very surprised they were, that 
they were all like, I, I want to run back and you guys will probably tell me to see their auditions and stuff, but I'm surprised that, that they got turned away so quickly as soloists. Um, cause they're individually all fantastic. So, um, really, really good. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys each have your, your favorites as well. Um, but I, I, before like I, I start making, you know, I need to learn names so I can, usually I'll pause it throughout and I'll say, oh, this person, and I'll, I'll focus in on key things, which I will do as I, as I kind of digest more of their content. But um, I was just looking at the collective whole, trying to get an idea of, you know, who are these people that everybody's telling me to, to go check out. So uh, no, it's beautiful. And I love the, uh, I love the structure of the song itself, instrumentally, alongside the vocals as they sort of start soft. And then, you know, there's there's this giant sort of build up component like um, um, like climbing a mountain. Right. Um, it's it's sort of just the, the instrumentals get bold, get, um, you know, sort of more in your face and and um, louder, not louder volume wise, but louder in a sense that you're you, you kind of get on the edge of your chair a little bit. and You're like, all right, I need to listen to what's happening next because something's happening. Right. Um, and they, they did a really good job of doing that with the vocals as well, um, alongside the instrumental. So no, that was, that was great. Um, yeah, let me know what else to check out. I'm, I'm into it. I dig it. Um, but, uh, I don't want to make this, this too long. I, I'll, I'll learn their names. Um, I, I literally just pulled them up now, but by then probably the second, third, um, time I check them out, I'll, I'll have them down pat. So, um, cool, cool introduction. Very, 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 very good. Um, interested to check out the other version of that alongside some other stuff. I got sent some covers that they do. Um, they're take they took on, they're taking on some, some giants in some of those. And it's, it's interesting how, um, they've been around, I guess they have a song with over a billion views. Uh, I noticed in their, in their catalog, they've, they, they have, I was just reading through like, just you, you Google them and it's like, they're over here breaking records with, um, with just the, how often their stuff has been streamed and played and, and uh, just a lot of attention, a lot of attention on these girls. Super cool. Um, and then also um, they, uh, they, you know, they, they, they have stuff been, you know, given the title of, you know, they're top in charts of like, you know, best they're, they're the first girl group to ever win X factor, by the way, um, to my understanding. Right. Um, or yeah. So that's, so that's something. And then like, um, they're saying that they have a song that's they're the basically people talking about them like the best girl group ever and the best you know the best song ever made by a girl group ever there's all sorts of you know best of words being thrown around and from my understanding they're just getting started so um cool let me know their ages too um i, I suppose i could look that up because if they if they've been at it since 2011 i would guess they're probably in their late teens early 20s when they audition so you could probably just do simple math and get a whereabouts, but, um, please go support little mix, go like, and subscribe. Um, I have already, I believe, uh, subscribed like, okay, perfect. We're there. Um, and yeah, if, uh, if you want to stick around and see more of it, um, like comment, subscribe, subscribe, appreciate it very much. It does help on the channel and we'll, we'll catch you on the next.